Hello friends, it's the Grub back once again with another episode of Creeper World uh, Arc Eternal uh, Creeper World 3 Arc Eternal uh, I believe in the last episode at the end I called it World Creeper uh, uh, Hey, that's okay And I'm just continuing on right from that last episode uh, First few episodes, uh, I may not be able to respond to any feedback I see in the video, uh, any, any, in any of the comments until further videos. Cause I'm going to try and do some recording as I'm going here, uh, and I'm able to. So, where we left off, we finished off Kassar, Kassara, and we were leaving the Inceptus system. They told us to click on the sec to star to show sector map. So now we're moving on to Abatus. Abatus. That just sounds ominous, don't it? Abatus. Oh, and he uses this for, I guess, a uh, speed boost. This warp travel is strange to me. Yes, you only ever knew travel through Rift Space. Rift Space was sealed many millennia ago in an attempt to stop the Creeper Menace from returning. Unfortunately, it did not work. The Creeper arrived in vessels that could ban the fabric could band? Yeah, they got in a band and played the fabric of space-time. No. A creeper arrived in vessel that could bend the fabric of space-time. Eventually, the few survivors of successful civilizations developed their own warp technology. But no matter how strong and advanced each civilization grew, the creeper would always return. Eventually return. But this ship was constructed before those events. Pladius must have known about warp travel and that this ship would need it. Yes, but things weren't that simple. For now, concentrate on gaining access to Star Sync. That's where the warped inhibitor is in the system. I see it at Star Sync, but it is shielded. The threat these people faced must have been truly terrifying. Looks like Telo Telos is our only option. I'll fly the ship there and initiate ground operations. Alright, so it looks like we got two systems here, or two plants in this system, or three plants in this system, two of which are shielded. Uh, we have Telos, Far York, and Star Sync. So let's go ahead and move on to Telos and get started. Telos. This is a world that has been silent for over 100,000 Earth standard years. Leah, do you have any additional information about why I was brought to this time? It seems as if the Creeper has destroyed everything we, were ever, we ever worked to save. I only have the star map we are following. If more information is available, it is locked away and inaccessible on my, gal cir or my gel circuits. Perhaps this is my punishment. Perhaps I died many years ago. Could this be the mythological cursed realm of Hot Hillheim my ancestors believed in? Impossible. I guess that makes sense if his name's Skarsgård. He'd be Norse. Scars, there's a reactor tech artifact on this world. Pick that up as soon as possible. We can use it to generate energy in, conf in confined regions. I see there's also a shield key here. I'll destroy the three emitters and collect that key. Okay, so right there. Let's go ahead and put down... Ooh. Yeah, I'll put down up here, because that seems safer. <laughs> Get a cannon going as soon as I can over here. Let's get a can one cannon going. We should be able to start working our way inward. Mm, I don't know if this cannon's going to make it. I don't know if this cannon's going to make it. 
may have spread this a little fur. Yeah, that cannon didn't make it. This, all right, this one may just make it. All right. Yeah, okay. Let's just place it just forward of the emitter here, and hopefully it'll be enough this time. Hey, this is what I was talking about, generating energy in confined spaces. I don't know if this one's going to make it. I'm putting too many build orders out. This should be the last one. It, uh, here comes, this should be the last one it needs. Reactors produce energy like collectors, but can only can be tightly packed. You will need to build around 10 reactors for this mission, but only a couple at a time to your energy production increases. Okay, that one's good. Okay, let's... Let me just focus on getting this built here. So weapons take 25 energy, okay, so I gotta, I'm not producing 25 energy right now, so, alright, I'm gonna have to put cannons way back in here to just <laughs> protect these emitters. Once I get these cannons built, then I'll worry about the uh, power emitter things. Producing just barely enough ammo for to get it through. Okay, it's not building anything else there, so I'll go ahead and start that. I'm hoping I read that right. See, this one's got to take a long pack just to get over there. I'm trying to... Yeah, see, now it takes a little bit quicker. It'll take a little quicker path. If we can get these built up, that should start helping us pump out the the needs. Mm -mm. Yeah, I need to get some ammo pumping. <laughs> This one's almost destroyed. Yeah, got too close. Okay. Well, now that we're not sending out ammo to Tumi now, I guess we can 
have this. See, I'm hoping I read that right. It said tightly packed. I wonder if that means that they'll link. We may have to lose ground to gain it. We'll try and keep it up as best we can. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Okay, looks like it's sending them out bullets out faster now. That's good. But it doesn't look like that works. So... Deactivate... Deactivate... Destroy. That's what I want to do. So we want these to be built around these things like that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and speed things up a little again. I'm going to send a relay up here to... We may... End up losing some ground. I think we may be okay though once we get these generators up and running. There we go. Yeah, now they're pumping out. Okay. So we could start putting down some extra weaponry here. Push the tide. Building that one fairly close to things, but it's letting us clean. I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, emitter out first. That's my goal. I'm trying to do this where I can get the most ooze damage out. Alright, so we got a pretty sta steady supply there. I think we should be pretty alright to keep pushing. I'm building a whole lot, that's when they start kind of 
push him back a little bit, but we should be alright. Should be able to. Yeah, should be able to get an LFR going here. Mm -hmm. All right. Power zones are left when you destroy enemies. Move on to these glowing circle, uh, circular power zones to get abilities. Okay. Can I link up with them like? clear those zones out. Let's destroy that one. And I guess maybe they meant to put a collector on it? I don't know what that did. Oh! That gave us more power. Okay. Alright, let's start moving our way... over. Keeping it up. Okay, I gotta put another relay in. Want to start moving upwards now. Gotta watch that flow. <laughs> I do like it though, it's just it's always coming. You know, there's no lanes, no uh, waves, it's just always coming. To seal your doom. <laughs> okay, I think we can put a, a little relay here. I prefer using the relays for that speed. Uh, one thing I never looked at, can we upgrade? No, okay, never mind. Excuse me. I think we can get a nullifier in there. Yeah, we can get a nullifier in range. So now we'll start working our way forward there as well. So we want to try and get that under a collector. Ah, if I put a collector there, 
goes further, so... If we put a cannon here... Ah, a cannon gets even further weapon. Destroy that. And if I put this here, that'll give us much more room to work with on clearing out this. Okay. Let's start sweeping them away. Pulse Cannon Lover. Huh? Yeah, I like the Pulse Cannon because it's the only weapon I have right now that can take on this creep. Tiniest bit further, because... Ah. Put that there. I should be able to collect up on it. And we'll go ahead and we'll slow things back down here. And that's what you do with tower defense games, right? You speed things up to the point where they're just once you got yourself settled to ride it out oh okay now I didn't notice this up here before I didn't that's actually my me energy meter okay I got an energy deficit right now cuz I'm powering up the that alright let's uh... just to get ourselves a window so we can slap down a thing there. Oh, that won't be connected, okay. Get a collector that'll reach right there. Okay. That's all I gotta do is just get a collector there that'll reach it. And we got it. <laughs> a bit of a bird thing going there. Far York Shield Key. World secure. We shall claim the victory. Continue without submitting. Excuse me. So well, we've gone ahead and done that. Now we're going to move on to Far York. Excuse me. Okay, so it doesn't actually do a orbital insertion. It does a kind of a, I guess, speed boost here. So it get a gravity shot, I guess, to go straight at the thing. I guess that's like through a mini warp. Mm. All right, but here we are, Far York. Calibrating planet scenery. Far York, I know this place. You no doubt remember one epoch of this world. Far York was, mighty wor was a mighty world and served as the center of commerce for 13 different civilizations. It's nothing but cratered ruins now. Towards the end of its final occupation, the surviving humans scorched the planet with orbital mass drivers. It was an effort to... Supposedly it doesn't matter now. I suppose it doesn't matter now. Scanners show a mortar 
tech artifact on this world. That should prove very useful against the emitters in the craters. Why isn't this ship already equipped with this weapons technology? It once was, but many things happened over the course of billions of years. This ship isn't the original. I have had to reconstruct and rebuild it many times. Each reconstruction was performed carefully and slowly, so as not to be discovered. I'll ask more about this later. For now, let's take out these emitters and pick up that shield key. Alright, so... Can we place up here? We do not have room to place up here. Go ahead and get a collector as soon as we can. Also, that helps generate a little more power. Mortars damage creeper that is deep. More s several mortars around each move several mortars around each other each crater so they will suppress the creeper. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up the weapons. For right now, I may go ahead and just build a couple of networks of these. The terrain meter in the command bar at the bottom of the right screen shows the train height and the creeper level under the mouse. It doesn't show anything right now. Alright, let's get some mortars going here so we can hopefully keep them passive. Try and build up my power levels through these. Oh, uh, that's already been destroyed. And we got our first mortar somewhere. Okay, but it doesn't do anything. So we actually got a build cannon. We have to build cannon to defend the mortar. Positions. Now, do they actually take out the uh, c creep core, or do I still need to have a nullifier do it? And we're still rolling in the red. I may have to start putting up some reactors. Once all this construction is done, I'll put up some reactors. Right. Let's start with just two reactors for now. They are starting to put in. Oh, I see, and as it gets lower... Okay, 
still need some more reactor. But, this is looking like it's working. It's, uh, as long as it keeps bombarding inside. It pushes it down. So, I mean, on this one, I should be able to go ahead and get a nullifier on it right away. No problems. So that's one nullifier. Or one nullified. Okay, I can't reach there yet. But, I bet you I can slap a couple of more mortars right around here. for me. So, to help with the power increase, I'll go ahead and slap one of these in there. Just like to start generating positive power. You know, the power of positive thinking. Alright. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, it's just in range. might make that. Yep. Alright. So we got that taken care of. Far York has been completed. We have the Star Sync Shield Key. Victory. And we wiped out the ooze altogether. Alright. I was in 7,500 uh, spot there. So we continue on. Final uh, s uh, planet for the Abatus. Abatus. S star system is Star Sync. Going on there. We know we got the warp inhibitor there. At last, we have access to the inhibitor in this system. Unfortunately, this world is a disaster. What happened here? It appears terrible weapons were used that ripped the world apart. As you are seeing, humanity went to every extreme in its fight against the creeper. The nightmare these people must have experienced. Unimaginable. I'm not sure what approach would best would be best here, Scars. Wait, I detect two tech artifacts. Excellent. Excellent. I see them on the scanners. Ore miner and sprayer? Yes, build ore mines on these ore deposits you see. They will send ore to the command node. From there, it will be processed into anti-creeper. Anti-creeper. Ah, yes. Anti-creeper. It was my daughter, Alia. It was my daughter, Ali Aliana, Aliana, who unlocked the secrets of anti-creeper long ago. I assume the sprayer will deliver the anti-creeper to the battlefield. Temporary offline. Gel maintenance in process. Maintenance? Now? 
Looks like some things have not changed in five billion years. I'll get right to work on taking out this inhibitor while you perform your maintenance on your gel circuit. Alright, so... <laughs> Go ahead and plop us down. Get us some of that. And work our way down to get us some of that. So we got the sprayer to make anti-creeper. Display sprayers near creeper and they will fire bolts into the creeper. This could be useful for securing a beachhead. Alright. Go ahead and just get those put out. Ore mines extract ore from deposits. Ore is used to make anti-creeper. So now we just gotta make us uh, some ore mines. I assume these are the ore mines. Go ahead and place. I'm assuming we also want these to get here to each other as fast as possible, so we'll give it multiple routes. And we need to destroy the inhibitor to defeat the boss. Okay. Go ahead and get a reactor going as well. Excuse me. Oh, hey, I missed a mine. Blunk. Don't want that. Okay, let's do a speed up here so we can... we have the time I'm gonna go ahead and I just want to get some more of these things going because they are incredibly useful and also will allow me to start setting relays All right, first weapon we're gonna put down our cannons there, but there would probably be good. Let's see how the sprayer works. When can I reach that? Yes, I can. Okay. Now right, let's see what's so great about these sprayers. After all, since all I have to do is just make the, uh, defeat this. Okay, uh, looks like it just keeps spraying around. I know what you do with this. Destroy it. Uh, huh? Okay, nullifier. If the nullifier can fire twice, I can get rid of two of these in one go. I wonder, does anti-creeper turn into creeper? Okay, no, I can only do one shot. Okay. That's fine. It means I can place the sprayer here, and that way we can start reclaiming that island. Enough to put stuff on. Ooh. 
expanding outward. Okay. And all I have to do is just get a nullifier right around. And I gotta get it up onto here. So we'll get a sprayer going here. So yeah, okay. So once you've destroyed the thing that's making it, or I guess get it down low enough, and you start the uh, spray actually starts taking hold. Maybe not. Go slap down a few mortars. I'm not sure what's producing it over here. Unless it's the inhibitor itself. Which would mean I'd have to go around. Okay. Let's just get that nullifier there going. So yeah, we actually get the nullifiers. Oh, hey, we're pushing this back. Okay. Okay, I can get a nullifier on there. Unlock warp ready and destroyed all those in quickness. So we'll go ahead and claim our victory. The sprayers are kind of neat. All right, and we were six thousand eight hundred and thirty-six places. Our best score, or as our best score, I guess that doesn't say. I guess that doesn't tell us where we place. So there we go. That is the end of the Abatus system. Hope you've enjoyed. Once again, my name is The Grub. Please like, subscribe, comment uh, if you have. Also, you may notice up here in the upper corner there is a, a little link to the crowdfunding uh, option through YouTube. Uh, if you would like to, uh, leave a donation. I'd be more, most appreciated. Uh, it'll go a long way towards helping me uh, settle some bills and stuff during these hard times. Uh, but, like I said in the previous video, it's completely optional. Uh, I am still going to be pumping out videos as I can and when I can. Uh, today alone, I am planning on getting at least two recordings per game, and i got about five games lined up. Uh, of course, my memory is so bad I forget them already. Yet. But I have them on a list. I have an Excel spreadsheet to keep myself uh, straight and going. But, uh, anyway... 
Hope y'all enjoyed. Look forward to next time when we leave the Abatis system and go on to our next one. But we'll wait till next time to see what that system is. Take it easy. Bye-bye.